Ryan Barry, first of all, welcome to Brazil. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on this rematch against Lira Nagy in, in your second fight here in Brazil? Yeah, I'm excited about it. You know, I, uh, I haven't had a rematch yet in my career. So, and that one was about six years ago. It was my first big name fight in the UFC. And so for me, I, I just want to see, it's a good gauge for me to see how much I've grown since then. You know, going into that first fight, I was pretty much purely a wrestler, had a good overhand right, but that's about it, you know. So for me now, you know, I'm proficient in my stand-up, jiu-jitsu, my wrestling, putting it all together. So uh, it's a good gauge, and I'm, uh, I'm excited. How different was it to, to prepare for, us for, for a second fight against a same opponent? Not really. Uh, I think it was easier than uh, you're fighting a new opponent. You know, uh, you never know about somebody, an opponent, until you get out there and you and you uh, you know clinch with them. You don't know how fast they actually are. You know, so going into this fight, you know, I've been in there. I felt his strength. I felt his quickness. I felt you know pretty much everything there. So um, for me, I felt you know different positions where um, you know we trained a lot in the first fight. So now going into it, I just train more so on that and uh, you know he's a southpaw so we, we trained a lot of you know southpaw stuff and um, yeah it, it's not I think it's easier than preparing for a uh, uh, opponent you haven't fought before. Do you do you expect, uh, expect him to be pretty much the same fighter that that he was when when you fought him the, the first time? I mean yeah I mean looking at his last fights and you know since then you, you know he, he he does a lot of the same stuff you know he may be better uh, at defending takedowns and whatnot just from experience and, and fighting wrestlers and, and having wrestlers come in and train with them. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I've, I've wrestled since I was uh, seven years old. You know, I've had that ingrained in me. I don't have to think about that as he does. You know, I just react. Um, but I've grown, I, I feel I've grown a lot more than he has in the last six years. And so I look to showcase that, put on a good show for, uh, for the fans down here and hopefully have them on my side, you know, at least cheering a little bit at the end because it was a good fight. Uh, in, in which area do you, do you feel you have evolved more since the first fight? On my stand-up, for sure. You know, uh, my first fight, I was just, I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. You know, I'd go out there and try to punch him in the face. You know, now I feel like I can set things up. I, um, I can throw combos. I know what I'm doing out there on my feet now instead of just kind of winging it, um, literally. So it, for me, it's just uh, putting it all together, really. Putting my takedowns, my, my striking, and everything together. Is this the, the fight that you were expecting the UFC to offer you since if, uh, he was fighting Gustafsson and uh, then yeah. you just came in? Not at all. You know, it's one of those things where I fought uh, Ilir Latifi in September and uh, Gustafsson got hurt and they just called and offered and see what, seeing if I was available and wanted to fight. And I said yes. And, you know, that was seven weeks ago. And, and here we are. You're, you're coming off a big knockout. Uh, how... How, how does that boost your confidence going into this rematch? Yeah, it was good momentum. You know, I went into that fight relaxed, you know, not worrying about, you know, different stuff. I was on a five-fight win streak, and then I lost to Anthony Johnson. And after that, I was kind of in my head thinking, all right, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to fight uh, more exciting and have fun out there, you know, and uh, I got a knockout, you know. And so I want to bring that same mentality into this fight. Uh, I feel good. I feel the momentum uh, is, is going well, and I'm looking to continue that. Do you, do you expect an knockout in this fight, sir? No, I don't expect you know anything going into a fight. You know, I want to, I want to just go out there and fight the best. You know, have uh, me look at that fight um, and say, all right, that's me as a fighter. You know, and uh, I feel like I can do that. If I do that, you know, I, I believe I can get that stoppage for sure. And being five rounds, do you think it benefits you? Yeah, you know, I feel like uh, I'm more athletic. I'm younger. Um, I've been in five round fights, you know, my cardio is very, very good right now. I'm coming off a fight just recently and I went right into another training camp. So I just added on to my cardio. So uh, definitely. And how big is this fight uh, for you in terms of getting close again to, to maybe earning a, a shot at the UFC title? Yeah, every fight's huge, you know, and so this fight is, is uh, even more so because I need to add another win. I need to do, uh, um, you know, add not, add a, at a win, but at an exciting, you know, stoppage win, you know. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, but every fight's huge, and so I'm approaching the same one. I'm expecting the best Noguera out there, um, and I look to go in there in that fight, look very good myself, put on a good show, get a stoppage win, and uh, have fun. It's also a bigger fight because it's your last fight in the country with 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 the UFC, right? How why why did you decide to fight off the, the UFC contract too? Maybe that's the, the, the market. It's just one of those things that was kind of like, why not? You know, uh, you know, I see myself fighting in the UFC, um, but it's just one of those things where uh, it just made sense for us to take a fight and just fight it out. 
and just kind of go from there, kind of bet on yourself. And, and uh, um, there was no real master plan or intent behind it. Other than that, it's just kind of why not? Let's just fight this out. Do you see like fighters uh, going to Bellator, going, going to other events, making a lot of money? Do you see, like, feel like you being a veteran in this sport, is that something you, you can do to make more money, stay in the UFC or maybe getting, getting more money outside of the UFC? I mean, that's the beauty about, you know, uh, being a free agent. It's on the table. You know, like I said, I don't necessarily want to leave the UFC. I love fighting in the UFC. I believe it's a, um, you know, is where I'll be, but you never know. Like, it's on the table. And so um, I'm going to, I'm just, I'm not even concentrated on that right now. I'm just concentrating on the fight at hand, and uh, we'll kind of see after. Did the UFC reach out to you uh, before often you, uh, you, you just fight often you to uh, uh, yeah, resign? Yeah, they came and offered us to resign, but it was nothing you know, substantially crazy. So we just kind of declined and said, we're going to fight it out. And, you know, uh, um, it is what it is. Like I said, there's no real um, intent behind it. It was just kind of like, why not? You know, as my 18th, 19th fight in the UFC, let's just get to that point and, uh, you know, hopefully have a little more leverage and, and uh, um, just kind of go from there. Do you think that getting a big fight, bigger, big win here in Brazil, helps you get in that, that better deal in the UFC? Well, it doesn't hurt me, you know. Um, you know, going out there and losing, it, it, it's, it's not going to help you. Um, winning, yeah, I mean, it, it'll, it'll help somewhat. But um, like I said, it's just one of those things where um, it was my last fight, and I said, hey, let's just fight it out. Why not? You know, it, like I said, there's no real master plan behind it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, every fight going out there and winning is going to uh, boost your stock. So it's no, no different with this one.